That's exactly right. <laughs> Happy 2018. <laughs> but he doesn't like my stripes, but that's okay. I won't wear them again. So we had an interesting question um, on YouTube, and it's been a couple of months, but it's from a woman who is living in a sexless marriage. Ah, oh, par for the course. Which is usually what happens. You <laughs> fuck for a few years, and then it becomes sexless, and you mm -hmm. wonder why, because you're living together, and looking at each other's pubic hair in the sink. And, and the nose bones. Yeah, the... it just like kills it. Um, so first know that you're okay, and that's normal, right? At, well, it's not normal, but it is average. Oh, there you go, average. Yes. So now she's out, and she's having sex again. And she's had with, with his knowledge? No, they're divorced. Oh, okay. So Finished. she broke off, got rid of him. Got it, got it. Now she's having partner sex, and she's had sex with several partners, but she says when she has sex, she feels nothing. Her vagina feels numb. What can she do? Numb? Numb, like she feels nothing. Well, there aren't many nerve endings in the vagina, and she's got to engage her clitoris and not be so focused on the vagina. It's yeah. secondary. It's nice. It's nice for that feeling of fullness, and you can work your PC muscle. I, yeah, we like the combination orgasm, the vagina and the clitoris together. Always, always. She's not doing anything with her clitoris. She's, well, she didn't say, but I also feel uh... <laughs> <laughs> that she's been. She didn't say whether or not she was masturbating during well, her sexless of marriage. Of course, if she no, she wasn't. So you're getting no stimulation at all, and then you're having this rejection. And this trauma, you've been traumatized. Your sex organ, you as a woman, you've been traumatized. Everything. You need to rehab. And masturbation is the rehab. Did you hear that? Say it again. Masturbation <laughs> is the rehab. So and what does that mean? It doesn't cost anything. It's, it's cost efficient. It, the time element, I mean, it, surely you can find 20 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour a day for a little pleasure and that's what we're gonna do now we're, your rehabilitation is getting more familiar with pleasure it's scary it can be scary it is can be really to receive it is hard so I think as women we've always been kind of disassociated from our bodies because they don't want us to have pleasure they being the culture at large. Our families, the culture. The church. No one wants little girls jerking off all day and getting Well, banging. I mean, just once a day for an hour or 20 minutes or, you know, I mean, a reasonable length of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing they want. So it's kind of approaching it as <clears throat> rehabilitation. Like if you had knee surgery, you can't expect to run a marathon. So you, you've had no sex and now you're bringing that into partner sex, a new person. There's too much. It's too much there. And I really think that when if if it's a if it's a person that if it's a guy or a girl that mm -hmm. she's going to have an ongoing relationship with, I really think it's important to share a masturbation, because then you can be honest about your response. And you know that I know what I used to do with, with the new partners. I was always trying to match their yes their, their sexual, their sexual response. energy yes. with, with mine. And if it does, didn't, then I would of course get into faking. A pretending it was better than it was. And she's lying there feeling nothing, right? <laughs> so and, and probably going, oh, oh, oh. But you can't put that on someone else. You can't think that you're going to find Prince Charming or Princess Charming and they're going to come and bestow your orgasm onto you. This is about you connecting to yourself, feeling entitled to pleasure, touching your clitoris, engaging your vagina, lubricant, the whole nine yards conscious masturbation. I mean, really, this is about I want to you interrupt connecting here. to yourself. I want to interrupt here. Whenever we say lubrication, get over this idea that it's self-lubricating orgasm. It can be, but always take your oil with you. Always, always. There's a, These younger women are very... This one I got was absolutely out or outraged that... Why should she have to buy lube when it says that women lubricate naturally if they're turned? They no. do, but it drips down. It no, doesn't go no. up to your clit. No, I could be <laughs> totally turned on and not an ounce of lubrication. Yeah, no, and then not turned on at all. And then all of a sudden you're uh, cream in your panties. Uh, I'd be doing the dishes and lubricating. Just take some oil, like Betty always says, lay down. Explore your body, touch your click, touch your vagina, feel the good feelings. Don't put the pressure on yourself. 
It's a journey. It's gonna take. It's a process. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it's gonna take? Uh, well, I mean, it's like any skill. The longer you do it, the better you are at it. So the first year you might be a little awkward. The second year you'll be better. I'll put links in the video to first time orgasm and awakening the clitoris. That's very important. And that's really important. Yeah. And I think as women, you need to do this alone. And then you, if you want to venture out, go to a circle of women, take a body <laughs> sex workshop. You need to be supported. You know, it, you, the whole partner sex. I know that stay away from heterosexuality or lesbianism. I mean, just keep away from romantic partner sex for a period of time until she gets reestablished. And of course, the circle is perfect for that. Oh, there's nothing more supportive. I could never have made it through pregnancy and birth and getting my vagina back. My clitoris was always fine, but I had, you know, that's a trauma. You know, and when we experience trauma, sisterhood the is so healing. The trauma of birth was, had to be healed. And, and we need healing and we need each other yeah, for that. Yeah, you need support. It's so simple, but it's we make it so complex. So come on, get it together now. I mean, what you want to do <laughs> is listen to your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and your auntie. <laughs> and aunt, your little auntie here, she's so pretty. Look at that nice blonde mm. hair. Lovely. And every woman experiences trauma throughout her life. You're it's not a, alone. It's part of our condition. <laughs> it's part of being a woman. I mean, that's why we're so strong, is that we, we do give birth. I mean, I didn't give birth to a child, but I gave birth to body sex, and that was something. <laughs> <laughs> I got an email today with this cute, she was thanking me for body sex. Body sex, body sex, body sex. We have new groups. We're gonna um, announce the dates next clip. Okay, and now the women are getting spread out. Wherever she is, maybe she could find one of our That's exactly satellites. it. If you can find a workshop near you, take it. It'll change your life. Very important. The support of other women. The sisterhood, that is where it's at. We never talk to other women personally about what we're experiencing. So do it. And, you know, go ahead and have fun.